Android 12 has been available to Pixel owners for a little while now and is being rolled out by other vendors over the coming months. So here in preparation for that rollout are 10 features you're gonna absolutely love in the latest version of Google's mobile operating system. And up first is App Search, which you can access by swiping up from the middle of the home screen. Google has improved this on-device search engine, so now you can search for absolutely anything on your phone, such as individual contacts or even Spotify playlists. But if you type in the word new, you get a whole heap of different options from accessing the news app to creating a new alarm, a new message, or even pairing a new Bluetooth device. And where it's really clever is having chosen an option, such as opening a new Chrome tab, if I then come out of Chrome and go back into App Search, and again, type in the word new, it knows that I've already opened the Chrome tab, so it removes it from my list of results. Pretty neat, hey? Next up, sticking with search, the Google Lens icon has been added to the Google search bar on the home screen. Clicking on the icon lets me search for anything using my camera. You'll need to allow permission to the photo gallery and your camera app, and having done so, you can then snap any object and Google will search for it on the internet. So if I quickly snap my lantern, you can see that Google searches the internet and sends me to Ikea where I bought it from. Another place you can access Google Lens is from the recent app screen. Swipe up and right to access your recent apps, and having done so, you'll notice each app will have a variety of quick shortcuts. So here, if I click on the image icon from a photo that was sent to me in WhatsApp, I get the options to search for the image using Google Lens, or alternatively, I can copy, share, or save the image. If I click on Google Lens, as before, Google will go away and search the internet for that image. Back in recent apps, you can see that I have another shortcut here to share an article that I was reading in Chrome. Clicking the shortcut brings up a recent list of my contacts to share the article with. Quick settings has always been a really useful feature of Android phones, and with Android 12, the tiles are significantly larger and easily customizable. Swipe down from the top of your phone to access the first four tiles, and again to display the first eight, and then swipe left to display the rest. To rearrange the tiles, simply click on the edit button here, and then you can simply drag each tile into your preferred order. Scroll down to add additional tiles to your list that aren't already displayed. Two tiles that I added to my list was the ability to quickly disable the camera and the microphone. Enabling these two tiles will immediately block access to your microphone and camera for all apps, safeguarding your privacy if you inadvertently have any apps running in the background or you accidentally pocket dial someone. There are a ton of simple but clever features in Android 12, like using the front-facing camera to recognize when you want to rotate the screen and when you don't want to. For example, often when I'm reading in bed because I'm lying down on my side, the screen will automatically rotate to landscape. To overcome this, I would previously disable auto-rotate from quick settings. But now with Android 12, the phone can use face detection to determine when to rotate the screen and when not to. So now when I'm reading in bed, the screen will stay in portrait mode, but when I switch to YouTube, it will flip to landscape to display the video in full screen without the need to disable or re-enable rotation lock. Another feature that is now baked into Android 12 is the ability to take scrolling screenshots. These are great if you wanna capture menus or pages that are longer than the actual display. So here, if I open the settings menu and then press the power and volume down buttons simultaneously, it'll take a screenshot and give me the additional option to capture more. I can then extend the screen grab by dragging down like so. If I switch over to my photos app, there is my extended screenshot in all its glory. Back in settings, there are a couple of options that I enabled when I got my new Pixel. The first is one-handed mode, which you can access by choosing systems followed by gestures. Once enabled, you can use it in two ways, one to pull down the whole screen, or else just to display your notifications and settings. If you find the gesture a bit fiddly to activate, you can turn on the shortcut, which places the little button at the side of the screen. Now on any screen or in any app, swiping down at the bottom of the phone will pull down the whole screen so you can access it with one hand. The other gesture I enabled when I got my new phone was the ability to swipe to access the Google Assistant, which I find easier than holding down the power button 
and because I'm not keen on the phone constantly listening out for me to say, hey Google. Back in settings, again, click on system followed by gestures and this time click on system navigation. Here, if you click on the little settings icon, there is an option to enable swipe to invoke assistance. Now, if I swipe up from either corner of the bottom of the screen, it will activate the Google Assistant. And lastly, the feature that I love the most on Android 12 is the ability to add your most frequent chat message threads as a widget on the home screen. Long press on the home screen to bring up the menu and choose widgets. Under conversations, click and drag the widget to your home screen and Google will display a list of your most recent conversations. Here you can see that I've recently been chatting with Wilson on WhatsApp, so I'm now able to access that conversation with a simple click on the home screen. So that is 10 tips for using Android 12. Visit the website for lots more tips on Android and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.